Hello everybody, Grace Dooblaze, and we're back with more brick rigs. Counter brick rigs. Like brick strike or something. Things are looking pretty different, aren't they? You're gonna notice that we are not on the normal cityscape map, and I have a gun. And I'm shooting blocular Lego-style zombies as they shamble slowly and sadly toward me. With blood spraying out of them. So, yeah, there was a giant update to- Blah! There was a giant update to brick rigs. Uh, well, sort of an update. It's in the beta phase right now. And there are some issues. I was- I'm actually sad and alone today because no one loves me. Well, my wife loves me, but Previously, I was in here with Neological. If you remember, we were uh, messing around last time in the multiplayer. We were gonna do it again with the new beta because there's so many new things and It's very multiplayer centric and I think that's cool. Uh, actually a lot of my buddies are starting to get into brick rigs So that's awesome too. Yes, just walk in a straight line for me I'm not a very good shot. So if you just kind of keep shambling all together that makes my job much much easier but we're gonna be looking at some fantastic workshop creations today as usual blowing some things up But I at least just wanted to show you this because even though Neil and I couldn't do it together We were just it was just too crazy. There was stuff was flipping out and The vehicles were disappearing and deconstructing and when this update came There is a lot of new things and is a lot of cool directions But obviously it broke some of the stuff that worked before but the developer has always been like super on top of things so I'm sure everything's gonna be back to the way it was that is not going to stop us though from doing as we normally do and plus this gives me the opportunity holy crap man this gives me the opportunity to do a little bit of everything that people like some people love the multiplayer stuff every once in a while people enjoy me just doing my single player stuff and talking about the different creations and screwing things up really really badly so now I'll be able to mix both of them and plus and this is a little uh little secret here between you and me We may be seeing some other collaborators in the future Like I said a lot of my buddies are picking up brick rigs now. I don't know what happened the switch turned on I've been telling them this game was awesome forever So now we're gonna have even more individuals to blow up with tanks and planes and stuff like that and that's that's really cool. I mean, whether you like the multiplayer function or not, there's a lot of things that poor Gray can't do ah! by himself. You really need another person to do some of it. It makes things a lot easier. Look at the little shirt they have on. It says, Brains plus. Ah, I'm getting my ass kicked from behind. There we go. Upgrade weapon. Sure. Oh, I went from a gray gun to a gold gun. Well, that's nice. So, it's E to select the different items here. I think I can upgrade even farther than this. What is the same damn weapon? I mean, is it? Oh, it's the upgraded version of the weapon I had. I got it. So, weapons. What does this mean for brick rigs? So, there's a couple of really cool things. What the hell? These guys are wearing, like, bulletproof vests and stuff. This is some bull crap. Oh. Oh, this is some bull crap. Wow. All right. These zombies are no joke. What the hell? How come I can't kill these guys? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> All right, they may be a little bit too powerful for old Gray here. In fact, if you don't like zombie killing, I have a feeling we're gonna be down here in just a second. I'm, I'm shooting all I can. My brain, he is gonna be having my brain. Brain, please, well, I guess at least he said please. Yeah, I killed like one guy. I killed like one single dude. As the sun sets in Bricksville, one lone man tries to hold off the zombie hordes. Bring it on, you dirty scumbags. And with a cry of despair and disgust, he falls to the ground. All right, so with zombie survival mode out of the way, let me show you guys something else. It was snowing in here for some reason, so I have to wait until the snow freaking melts. But now, and I can, like, you can tell where this is going. It, it's almost, it's almost like the developer wants to turn Brick Rigs into, like, a life simulator. I'm totally okay with that, because the creativity aspect is still gonna be there, but on top of that, There'll be, like, a world you can live in, maybe? I don't know, man. It's getting crazy. So, we go over here to escape. Look at this crap. Professions. Civilians. Police. Fire department. Criminals. Brick rigs. Armed forces. The Braff. And desert worms. When I saw desert worms, I was like, You could be a mutant worm? No, it's just like a, it's just like a desert, uh, like a, like a, a, you know, like a desert mercenary or something like that. So, when we look at our dude... We now have a shirt that says, hello, my name is Bob. I wish I could change that to gray, but I can't. But, oh, you know what? If I do this, 
while free camming it. So now we have police, which no, oh, it didn't. It didn't change my stuff. Oh, I have to. Oh, okay, I have to become myself to change into the police uniform. I don't know what police wear like gold bling bling pants and gray shirts. I mean, I like the gray. That certainly works. But I don't know if this is like the Lithuanian police or something. We have the fire department. They better be wearing red. Okay, it's very muted red, but it is red. We have the criminals. Uh, all right. And the criminals, of course, get the gold-plated gun. There's bullet effects in the game now, by the way. You see, we have little bullet holes there. There you go. I'll make you guys a nice little derpy smiley face. We've got the very, very tactical Brick Riggs Armed Forces over here with machine gun. Yeah, yeah. And the final one is the Desert Worms. Now, the Desert Worms do have kind of a, a, a distinct advantage in that they have a working scope, which is kind of nice. Now, how crazy is this? So, there's weapons, there's the zombie thing, but the weapons interact with the different freaking items in the game. I got to show you guys this first. This is by Verdeth. Verdeth, again, making some of the craziest creations I've seen. This is Brick Strike Dust 2. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a Counter-Strike person. But Dust 2 is a map from Counter-Strike. I guess I can say that much. And Verdeth recreated it here in Brick Rigs. I like, how is this even a th actually, you know what? We can't we can't even make this over here. We're gonna have to go way over here in order to make this. How does a man decide to make a map? Now my question is. Is it like a map or is it like a very, very scaled down map? Like how big is this? Oh my God. Oh my God. Can I even spawn it? Here we go. No way. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my God. Look at this. The counter terrorist spawn. This is insane. This is absolutely insane. Look at this. And as you can imagine, there's little hallways and stuff. Now, if you guys are pro counter strikes, you can let me know how legit this map is. But one of the things that you're gonna notice is, ready for this? There's block destruction. Yes. So if you do enough damage to blocks, you'll actually damage the blocks and knock them around. Oh, there's like little planks and stuff over here. Oh, this is weird too. I wanted to show you guys this. Now, there's like a pickup function. You can pick up the bricks. Look at this. And you could build... It almost looks like the creator's idea is to have us legitimately building stuff. Almost like... Oh, I, I hate to say it. But almost like My Summer Car style. Like freaking frisbee eating style where you where you get so pissed off that you have to take the frisbee and you fold it in half and then you shove it down into your throat until you can't see it anymore. That level of masochism... It almost looks like that's what's trying to happen here. And all of the bricks, as they get separated, are bricks that you can grab. Look at the boarded up area and stuff like that. Can I shoot down these doors and stuff, I wonder? Now, there's only a couple of guns in the game right now. You got your pistol, and then you have those couple of, uh, like, the, the assault rifle style guns that we've seen here. So, let me get at it. Let me, let me, let me free cam this. Wow. Yep. It's a board. It is a friggin' board. That's crazy. Verdeth. All, all of you guys. All of you guys never cease to amaze me. All right. We got to look at this. The Spam Museum of Transport. This is by Spam Track. And this contains... Oh, my God. It contains 10,000 bricks. Low spec, not recommended. Well, thanks, Spam Track. Let's see how, how well my poor computer can deal. Can you hear it? Can you hear the groaning? The groaning of my computer. Actually, the computer's handling it. Okay. The Spam Transport Museum. A short history of Spam Track Transport. Unfinished, discontinued, old test experiments and extras. Look at this. Spam Track made a museum. It's got exhibits. How crazy is this? Utility truck set. Based upon the pickup truck set with multiple trailers, this is just an alternate version with utility style pickup truck and two trailers that match. Built back before I started scaling at a slightly larger scale. The loads in the truck, trailer, and pipes on the on the rack were originally loose, but have been secured for display. 
Look at this place. This is, oh my God. For the purpose of displays, all engines, actuators, thrusters, and other moving parts have been disabled. All seats have been replaced with passenger. Welcome to the Spam Track Transport Museum. Here you'll find projects that are either unfinished or did not meet the standards I would have wanted for release. Welcome to the world of future generic renamed Uplos. <laughs> uh, what the hell? I just got killed. So yeah, as there are guns and stuff in the game now, you can die. Although I died kind of randomly there. Look at this. Look at this beautiful being. Oh, look, there's a dump truck in the back. A bambolance. We've got a friggin' train over here. Unnamed fire truck. Now, let me, let me see here. Oh! Oh, yes! Oh! Oh, it's a little bit lagtastic every once in a while. But look at that! It, it lags because there's so many bricks on the screen right now. But you can, look at that, you can shoot all of the bricks off with a gun. Let's go upstairs, see what the upstairs looks like. Oh, or I'll just trip and fall to my death. Well, I have plans for this. Free cam mode it is. There we go. And upstairs we have more trains. Look at this. We have a lifeguard. The rock would be proud. We've got a utility truck over here. Unnamed bug thing. Okay. So... This is amazing. This looks fantastic. It's a great creation. It looks beautiful. Let's drop some bombs on it. You know what? We're not gonna drop bombs on it. Over here, we have something called the R, I think it's the 9800 Monster Excavator by Quickie Knight. I don't know if this is original or what, but look at this crap. It is a giant friggin' excavator. Now the question is, the question is, can this excavator destroy the building over there? I don't know. Let me see if I can. Can I move the excavator? Oh, it works. Oh, slide Joe simulator. How I, oh, look at it. Hold on. I need to move the camera so you guys can see this better. Let me see. How can I, how, there we go. Look at it. Look at it go right inside of the museum. Oh, spam track. Give to me the guts of your delicious museum. No one is safe. No one is safe. If I can get better at utilizing the uh, the bucket, that would be a thing. Now, I think that we're probably dealing with too many. Oh, there we go. Yes. See, I got some bricks right up there. Hold on, spam track. Don't worry. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and introduce your your building to the pit over here. Swinging around. And then, hold on, where's it? There we go, release the bucket. One brick. That's what I managed to do. One damn brick. If we had a smaller building, I think we could do a lot of destruction with this Komatsu. Here we go. Jack Keck 128. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. He's got a house over here. He said that there's some secrets inside. All kinds of secrets. Well, what kind of secrets would you have in such a lovely place? Welcome, everyone. Come on in. Why don't you all have a seat? No big deal. Looks like we have, oh, this is where all the children sleep, I suppose. I don't know if uh, Mr. Mr. J. Keck has uh, some kids. Is that, is that a man with a gun on him? Is that me? That's probably me. Desert worms. Yeah, you get a little badge right there. All right, well, hold on. Let me see. If, how about if I stand up? There we go. Let me see if I can walk inside of this place without dying horribly. Now, supposedly, there is a button if you press here. A horrifying. I think I already know what it is. Look, you got... It's wired, man. This building's a lie. <laughs> a note to Gray still plays. Dear Gray, on behalf of JKEC128, blow this house up. Just do it. All right, man. You asked for it. Oh, I wonder if we can shoot the house with our gun. Hold on. I wonder if it'll blow up like this. Let's see. I'm not really seeing anything. This. You know what? You know what we need now? We need grenades now. If they, if, if the dev can somehow add, like, explosives that you can toss as a little brickman, that would be just amazing. Feel honored, JKEC, for today, your house will pay the ultimate price, not with a giant firearm, but with the Claw of Damnation. Well, if I can make the Claw of Damnation, there we go. The Claw of Damnation, doubt, wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're demolishing it. 
Oh, we're demolishing the hell out of it. Yes. Okay, that's amazing. So, yeah. Lower brick count items get absolutely obliterated by this this creature, this Komatsu. It's so good. Now, quick, quickie night. There, there's no. You didn't put a description in, man. When you when you upload something like this, you got to put a description in, because I just died horribly. Because the quest, the only thing is, I want to make sure that this isn't like a re-upload from someone else. We got to make sure that we give people credit. So when you guys build stuff like this, make sure to put a little description in there about how many bricks it was, kind of what, like maybe some instructions and stuff like that, how it works and things like that, so that we all know that uh, that you're the dude. You know how it works. Now in here, I wonder if the detonator, ah, ow, oh there's fall damage. So in here, I wonder if the detonator's in here somewhere. See how you can pick up every single one of these blocks? How freaking crazy is this? All right, ready? The house is gonna get back at the Komatsu. The Komatsu pulled some bull crap, and now it's time for the hidden secrets. <laughs> is that just a random tire bouncing? Oh, brick rigs. And fire the explosion! Oh, what in the hell just happened? Look at this! I don't know what kind of detonation went off. There's the detonation over there, I think. But it almost looks like the Komatsu had been rigged inside with explosives. Look at it just fell to pieces. Burning to the ground. That is a lot of bricks. That is a lot of freaking bricks. Waffle Co. is back. That's right. Waffle Racer is... Oh my god, there's actually waffles on it. <laughs> Waffle Racer is back and says, take that Barbaran. That's right. He has made a majestic Waffle Co. freaking factory style building over here. Huge thanks to Inscopu Ew. for help with this or EU for help with this. Uh, now, what is this over here? Are these, like, are these like gold coins or is this lighting? Oh, that's lighting. Okay, at first I thought that was like Waffle saying he has stacks on deck. So, supposedly, this is multiple levels, fully furnished, Waffle Co. Towers. Oh, I like that. Now, in the game, it tells you exactly the name of everything, too. That's pretty cool. I think it was like that when, uh, when Neil and I were playing. So, you have your, uh, you have your guy over here. Now, can you die? I feel really bad. I feel like I'm trying to take over Nakatomi Plaza or something like that. Oh, uh, sorry for destroying your bench. We got a lovely painting over here of what I assume is a tree on an island. Oh, you know what? Before we go any further, hold on. I just thought about this. Oh, wow. There's people all throughout the building. Oh, I'm such a jackass for missing that. Before we go all throughout the building, we have to take a look, all right, at the lighting. So let me go grab over here. Let me go get inside of this. All right, ready? Beacon. All right, that didn't do anything. Lights. Yes. There we go. Now we've got some lighting. Nakatomi Plaza, eat your heart out. Man, that looks legit. Now, unfortunately, lights in the game seem to give a pretty hefty penalty to the overall... Ab yep. Seeing my life flash before my eyes as I fall depressedly into the nothingness. And now, not only do you fall, but you die too. Gray still plays killed in action. Don't you boys worry. Next, I don't know, next month or the month after that, I'm waiting for Threadripper to come out. The new uh, AMD, like freaking 16 core processor. I'm gonna do it. I love you guys too much. You guys should have the best experience in brick rigs I can give you. So I'm gonna drop big money. I'm telling my wife that it's for work purposes. I'm gonna drop some big money and I'm gonna buy a friggin' killer computer so that we can go absolutely nuts. In the meantime, let us go up the elevator shaft to the next floor. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Brick Riggs, right there. This guy has his monitor on. All these people slaving away for Waffle Co. Making him tons of money. While they get paid minimum wage, isn't that just the way? Oh, under construction, that's odd. All right, well, whatever. Over here we have Google Death Star plans. Yeah, see, this is how it worked. This is what the emperor actually did. You guys think that they were using 
that that dude from Rogue One or whatever. That wasn't how it worked. They basically just went to Google and they Googled Death Star plans. It wasn't called Death Star at the, pl at the time. Well, maybe it was and they just got hit with copyright strikes. Look at this. There's a little... There's your projector. The Emperor's over here. This guy, I don't know what the hell happened with this guy. He Possibly he got like RKO'd out of nowhere by one of these dudes for coming up with the wrong plan. Oh, maybe it's because he's wearing the wrong colored shirt. Maybe because these are red shirts and this is a gray shirt. They don't like him anymore. Wait a minute. How come, how come the gray shirt has to die? You got something against gray people. Let's continue to go upstairs here. See what else we have? We have like, what is this, like a cafeteria? Oh yeah. Look at this, there's a cafeteria. This is crazy. There's a cafeteria. We have your burners over there and a refrigerator. I'm gonna tell you something, Waffle. There's a snack bar. Eats sorta healthy. All right, that's it's actually pretty appropriate. Um, I gotta tell you something, Waffle. Your creations are getting out of hand here. Over here, I read this. There is a robot factory, so Waffle Co churning out robots there's a prototype behind the glass over there what are the robots going to do i really don't know take over the world i'm not really sure over here on the next floor what are these like are they building like microprocessors or something at first i thought they were eating like fine dining but they look like scientists and then over here we have some fantastic equations two plus two equals fish i feel the same way and a2 plus b2 equals c2 this is the way I wish algebra worked, okay? I would have been much better at algebra if this is how it went, okay? In case you guys didn't know, I was terrible at algebra. I hated algebra. What in the hell? Oh, there's like a car factory up here too. Look at this. This guy's over here putting on a tire. This dude over here is working on... I don't know. Um, I mean, he's got some wheels. So maybe he's making wheelie bars? For the dragster, I don't, I don't 100% know what's going on there. This is insane. How many floors are there? Now it's, oh, this guy's shooting like a commercial or something. It's got the green screen. Look at that. Yes, it is. He's shooting, he's shooting a movie or a commercial. Look, there's the little cut. There's the, the action. I can't remember what the hell this thing is called. Someone let me know in the comments section. He's got the little action-y thing. I think, um... I'm trying to remember. I, I remember somewhere seeing why directors utilize this. I think it was to synchronize the audio to the video, wasn't it? Maybe it was? I don't know, man. I The problem, when you get to be my age, the problem is you have so much crap in your brain that it's hard to remember exactly what went where. So here's a little beauty area so you can get powdered up and stuff like that. On to the next floor. It's like a whole episode, man, of itself. We got the watering, the water area. We have a helipad. Now, if you put a helicopter on there, it'll be even baller. Although, to be fair, he stayed at like 7,800 bricks. That is pretty good for a building with this much furnishings in it. Oh my God. So now we have the more important people. See, they're not just the schleps in the tiny cubicles. And there's looks like there's a couple more over there. And then a few more over there. So uh, now I imagine these ones are kind of all, no. Look at this. I was almost fooled. We have the boss. This has to be the boss over here. You can see he's got his pool table. All right. We have... I don't know what these are. Um, these video games? They look like video games. This must be the rec room. We got a giant ass screen over here. It's like panoramic friggin' movie viewing. And then we have... Yep, this is like a nightclub over here. Man, you never have to leave work. You can do everything here. So that's how they do it. You know, I think, what, what is it? Like, uh, Google does the same thing, right? They, they make their environment so fun that people never want to leave. So Waffle Co. has a cafeteria. He's got big screen TVs, pool tables. We got a freaking dance floor over here so you can hop it up with your lady or guy friends. Let's, and I think that is, is this the top level? I think that's the top level. And that right there, wow, is Waffles Skyscraper. Oh my God, dude, you went completely ballistic. Let's see if we can tear this thing down. Here we go. The Battle of the Titans. Waffle Co. Towers versus the friggin' Komatsu. Can the Komatsu bring down the waffly behemoth 
or will my game crash horribly and decide to try and kill me? Right now, it looks like it is trying to crash and kill me. We're getting through it. Oh, oh, it's working. Look at the destruction. Look at the horrifying nature of the destruction. Oh my God, what happens if I, hold on. Let me see what happens if I slow things down or something. Is it still every bit as horrible? Oh my God. Oh, it sure is. Oh, look at this. Look at everything bouncing and breaking apart. Oh, Waffle Towers. Thou shalt be brought down by the might of the Komatsu. Oh my God, the Komatsu is a friggin' baller. You know what? There's probably like an exact brick amount that works best for this. Like if I could find the perfect excavator and like the perfect building. Well, that one house, we destroyed that one really good. We destroyed that one really good. You know, I wonder. Here we go, this is perfect. The Simple Car Factory by Whaley O... Owani Pak Common spelling. All right, William Puck Zomistris. Let's take a look in here. Oh, yeah, look. You got this guy over here. He's doing an inspection. Everyone's working hard. I think they got hard hats on. Either that or they're all blonde, but I think those are hard hats. Wow. For 3,000 bricks, this actually looks really good. Look at this. Over here, this guy's working hard over here, and you can pick up all the all the different items. Look at that. How crazy is that? That now you can pick up every... Ah! 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 Sorry. Sorry. The pump started ejaculating randomly. I didn't mean to do that. Can I drop this? Can I drop this? I'm carrying a brick and I don't want it, but I can't seem to get rid of it. Okay, well, you know what? Oh, there we go. Just press the trigger. Oh, I just died. Sadly, our brick guy has like stage 80 Ebola virus, so I'm gonna have to fly around here. Olive. I mean, I like olives. Is that the color? Is that like what it's gonna get painted? Ah, oh, this must be the painting area. So this is olive. This is your olive color. This is the finished product. Is olive really like a popular car color? I don't really see that too much. I see a lot of black, I see a lot of white, I see a lot of silver, or air quotes, they call it champagne. But you don't see too much of that. Simple car, SC. Oh, look at this, right over here. We have tap, quabba, quabba, shift, space. Oh, he made a keyboard. He legitimately made a freaking keyboard. That's insane. What is it? To all the time in this land and all the time in my hands, circle round in depth found, calmness fall once again, killing my heart. I can't face. I can't face no more. Oh, that was uh, Anathema or whatever it is. The band. Okay, I gotcha. So, this should be fairly oh there's a little car out back over here it's like a finished product or something right over here how do you like that so this should be fairly destructible by the excavator beautiful building you have there sir it would be a shame if something bad were to happen to it take the komatsu and teach this beautiful creation a lesson oh yeah oh yeah there we go hold on let me see if i can uh See if I can manipulate the camera a little bit so that we can enjoy, we can enjoy the destruction a little bit more. Oh, I think I'm hyper. <laughs> I was gonna say, I think I may have extended the Komatsu a little bit too far, but somehow everything just detonated on its own. So anyway, as you can see, the addition of the guns and the new modes, and like I said, even the new different job positions and stuff like that. You can see what the developer is aiming for. This is really cool. The direction could become amazing because you could have worlds that are anything. You could have worlds that are combat oriented. You could have worlds that are driving and racing oriented, drag racing, tractor pulls, freaking World War II planes, modern planes and guns and rockets and everything. It's crazy. The potential is there. If this gets more solidified and it get and it continues to get expanded, I'm so excited for brick rigs. Oh, and I'm so excited that more people are playing it now. I've been doing this for so long with only a couple other people playing, and now 
it's beginning to get the exposure it deserves. Guys, hope you're enjoying Brick Rigs. If you have any suggestions on what you think would make Brick Rigs cool, I talk with the developer sometimes, and I'd like to maybe give him some suggestions from you guys. And I think that would be really cool to get everyone kind of involved and see what kind of directions we can go from here. Obviously, infinite possibilities in a world where you can literally create anything from an excavator to a damn car factory to a dance club to trains to everything else. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.